This is Volkswagen's bold declaration of war against China and the United States, a brand new high-tech platform made in Germany designed to make both electric and combustion engine vehicles more affordable without sacrificing functionality, software, or quality. This new architecture is called SSP and is set to become the backbone of the entire Volkswagen group, from compact city cars with 115 horsepower to sports cars with over 1,000 horsepower, SSP is meant to be the universal foundation. By 2030, VW aims to become the world's leading volume manufacturer, not just in sales but in technology. The company has even introduced a bold new roadmap, the AAA strategy. Aufholen, Angreifen, Anführen, Catch Up, Attack, Lead. And according to experts, this ambitious plan could work. The new SSP platform, along with VW's in-house battery technology, may indeed leapfrog current offerings from BYD and Tesla. It's reportedly 20% more cost-efficient while offering superior performance and flexibility. To understand the gravity of this move, we need to look back. In the 2000s, tens, VW's MQB, Modular Transverse Matrix platform, transformed the company's manufacturing. Before MQB, each VW model series had its own technical blueprint, including unique axles, electronics, and layouts, creating massive complexity and high production costs. MQB solved that by standardizing over 30 vehicle models across brands like Audi, VW, Seat, and Skoda, leading to a 20% cost reduction. Other automakers scrambled to catch up. Toyota's TNGA and PSA's EMP2 followed years later but often lacked the same level of integration. Now, VW wants to repeat that success, only bigger. SSP won't just unify production, but will also drastically improve vehicle functionality and performance. It's a full-stack rethink of what a car is, aiming to beat both American and Chinese competitors at their own game. The key? A single image holds the answer, but before we dive in, let's talk about something practical. In cities, car performance matters less than traffic conditions. That's why more people, including myself, are switching to bikes and e-bikes, especially when public transport is unreliable. My girlfriend, for example, takes nearly 45 minutes to get to work via public transport, and that's if trains are running on time. Delays or construction can stretch that to 60 to 90 minutes. With an e-bike, it's just 20 minutes. The downside? E-bikes are expensive, unless you know about Upway. They offer high-quality refurbished e-bikes from top brands at up to 60% off. Each bike is thoroughly tested and comes with detailed photos and a full inspection report. You can filter by size, color, and use case. Mine arrived within days, fully ready to ride. Aside from adjusting the handlebars and screwing in the pedals, I was good to go. A few cosmetic scratches, sure. But the price-performance ratio makes that irrelevant. With my code, you can save an extra 100 euros on any purchase over 500 euros. Check the video description or pinned comment for the code. Now, back to VW's master plan. SSP-P isn't just another platform. It's designed to replace all existing group architectures like MQB, MEB, and PPE. That includes models from Seat and Skoda, all the way to Porsche and Audi. Imagine the same base platform for a Volkswagen Golf, a Porsche Macan, and an Audi A6. Gasoline, hybrid, or electric, it won't matter. The goal, maximize economies of scale by producing as many common parts as possible. This slashes manufacturing costs and simplifies logistics. Alone, this strategy is expected to cut vehicle costs by 10 to 20%, even at the same performance levels. But what really sets SSP apart is not just savings, it's a leap in quality and capabilities. Charging speeds will reportedly drop to just 20 minutes, motors will reach 95% efficiency, and a new proprietary battery format will massively boost range. This so-called VW Unified Battery is not revolutionary because of its chemistry, but because of its design. The cell casing is standardized, but the chemistry inside is interchangeable. Sodium, solid-state, or sulfur-based chemistries can be swapped in and out, making the format future-proof. No more locking into one technology, just modular, adaptable energy systems. But what truly grabbed industry insiders' attention was VW's new focus on intelligent software. Until now, German automakers lagged far behind the US and China in this domain. Case in point, the tangled mess of electronic control units in the MQB platform. Each model had its own software stack and hardware layout. Cars like the Golf 8 suffered massive delays and bugs because outdated ECUS were paired with next-gen digital features. Even vehicles like the Audi e-tron GT and VW ID.4, both electric cars in the same corporate family, 
ran entirely different software stacks. SSP aims to fix all that. Volkswagen is now going all in on unified software and electronics. Instead of dozens of scattered ECUS, future SSP vehicles will use just a few powerful centralized computers. A brand new operating system, VW.OS, will be deployed across all VW Group brands. Think of it like Android for cars. One operating system, many devices. This makes the SSP generation a true software-defined vehicle, a concept we've mostly seen from Tesla and Chinese EV makers. That VW is now adopting this model is a dramatic shift, but it also introduces new challenges. In software-defined vehicles, hardware components like sensors, cameras, and ECUS are installed in every model, regardless of whether a buyer opts for the features or not. The catch? Even if you own the hardware, you'll need to pay for a subscription to use it. Yes, even if the sensors are physically installed in your new car, access to features like adaptive cruise control or heated seats may be locked behind a paywall. It's the same model used by printer companies like HP and smart devices across the board, including Tesla. Personally, I have a hard time with this. It feels absurd to buy something, own it, and then be told you still have to pay a monthly fee to use it. Imagine buying a drill and needing to pay a subscription to actually use the screws. Maybe VW will keep it reasonable, but we'll have to wait and see. Still, these announcements send a strong signal. VW knows the stakes. The company has listened, learned from its mistakes, and is finally ready to compete on price, tech, and user experience. Facing mounting pressure from Chinese and American rivals, VW is being forced into a battle for both innovation and affordability. If the promises are kept, this could mark the start of a major turnaround for Volkswagen. But that's a big if. One particularly interesting development is VW's new motor tech from Mala. It's being marketed as the perfect electric motor. 95% efficient, suitable across all power levels, cheaper to produce, and crucially, it doesn't rely on rare earth metals from China. This alone could be a game changer in the EV race. All in all, SSP isn't just another platform. It's VW's shot at reclaiming global dominance in a radically changing automotive world.